when my first child that went to college, mm -hmm. the, the white man that I worked for gave him a check. Mm -hmm. Gave me a check to give him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how it was. The, 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 the Aunt Miller Puss, mm -hmm. this, this white man that I worked mm -hmm. for till I was till for mm -hmm. 34 years, had a son and went to school mm -hmm. and A&M College and he went on, to, he, he's a doctor, he's still in Dallas, he's one of the most famous mm -hmm. doctors, not only in the United States, in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that came to my house after I'd written this man and me the mm -hmm. pussy, and he said, Lottie, what are you doing? I told him I'd written a book. What, what, you wrote a book? Where mm -hmm. is it? And I gave him a copy of, of the writing. Okay. And he said, let me, man, let me carry it home and read it. And he called this this print company okay. uh -huh. and told him that, man, I want, I want you to look at this book. Mm -hmm. And the print company, they talked to him and everything. They called me and they called me. And uh, mm -hmm. they, print, they printed this book. Mm -hmm. I, and I had met the man because I wrote a, I wrote a history mm -hmm. of I, my church, mm -hmm. and at his at his, at his school reunion, mm -hmm. I I gave one of the history books to the mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. and this man saw the book and he came up there and visited me on Sunday morning mm -hmm. and said, uh, I I, I, I want to talk to you, and so so later on mm -hmm. when the, the when the, when Bob Walker found out. Mm -hmm. about the book called Mr. Aikens. Mm -hmm. his, his name is in it. Mm -hmm. And they said, yeah, we would like to put, but we, we put, put publish children's books, mm -hmm. but we would like to publish something by black men. Mm -hmm. And we will publish this book. Okay, very good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he did. And that's and, and that's beginning. And of course, uh, you you've had good reception of that. Uh, on, on oh, the I've had it. I've had people. Uh -huh. I, I've had I've had I had pe uh, a lady call me from U Utah, from Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I have I have uh, had a lady to read the books. She she teaches at Rice University mm -hmm. in Houston, and she is from Turkey. Mm -hmm. And she said I had never I had uh, this. What, what you read, I, I, I've been so, she, i just like to meet you. I would just like to meet you. Mm -hmm. and well, well in, in a real sense, I think that that's, that that's why we have you here today. Uh, we had an opportunity to read the book, and uh, we were so impressed by uh, the information that you gave. Uh, and uh, Mr. McGill was uh, so uh, convinced uh, in terms of who you were and, 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 and what a, 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 a uh, 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 honor it would be in yes. a real sense for us to be able to talk to a, a, a 93 year old man who has uh, written a book and at the same time is also working on another book you know yes. I mean, that's very very optimistic in terms of uh, who you are and what you're planning on doing but your life I think <laughs> well, is a real well, thing yeah. and Larry McGill mm -hmm. I, I raised that boy mm -hmm. and I thank the Lord for him he is mm -hmm. really he, he's just like one of my children well he thinks the, he thinks the world of you too well, I uh, to that. I, we yeah. think a lot of each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. now I, I want to say this that the the, the, the I, I wrote a book a story mm -hmm. because I love murder mysteries mm -hmm. when I was younger and I wrote a murder mystery, mm -hmm. and this white lady that I can tell you work for these families. They, mm -hmm. uh, we just we call ourselves. Um, we are just family. Mm -hmm. We're family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, she said, Lonnie, I want to read the book. If you wrote it, I want to read it. Mm -hmm. And she set up one night, handwriting now, mm -hmm. in my own handwriting, until she said she came that next morning. She said, Lonnie, I, I stayed up there three mm -hmm. o'clock this morning reading that book. Uh -huh. so, and that is, I, I just kind of found out. Who killed that man? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. she said, I just had to find out. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. But anyhow, when my house burned, I lost everything that I had. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it burned up. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to publish the book. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to try to publish it either. Mm -hmm. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, I was determined to write about Mm -hmm. What I experienced. Your experiences. And, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, 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 we, we're going to have to end our show for the day here, uh, Ms. Graves. But uh, let me say over the last uh, half minute that we have here that we certainly appreciate you bringing that uh, excellent information by and giving us that information. And we would encourage all of our uh, members of our audience to uh, look for this book. Uh, uh, it's called Ain't Millipus and Her Will. And, yes, sir. And, and, and not only should they look for this book, but they should also be uh, on the lookout for your second book, 
And, and the, the top, and then the, what's the title of that? The title of it is Nine Days Till Sunday. Nine Days Until Sunday. And of yes, course, sir. That, and, and, and that book, again, being written by a 93-year-old man who yes, is still sir. optimistic in terms of how life has treated him, and et cetera. It, it has indeed been a real pleasure to have you here. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Cummings. Thank you, and good morning.